Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss that can help you grow your wealth in the long run. We'll be diving deep into the world of index funds, breaking down the concept step by step. So, if you're new to investing or simply want to expand your knowledge, you've come to the right place. Section 1. Understanding the Basics Index funds are a type of investment fund that aims to replicate the performance of a specific market index, like the S&P 500 or the FTSE 100. These funds provide investors with the opportunity to own a diversified portfolio of stocks or bonds, without having to pick individual securities themselves. Section 2. Benefits of Index Funds Now that we know what index funds are, let's explore why they're such a popular choice among investors. Diversification Index funds offer instant diversification by including a broad range of stocks or bonds within a single fund. This reduces the risk associated with investing in individual stocks and helps protect your investments from market volatility. Lower Costs Index funds are known for their low expense ratios compared to actively managed funds. This means you can keep more of your investment returns, as fewer fees eat into your profits over time. Passive Investing Unlike actively managed funds, which require constant monitoring and decision-making by fund managers, index funds are passively managed. This means they aim to replicate the performance of the index they track, rather than trying to outperform it. As a result, you can enjoy a more hands-off approach to investing. Section 3. How Index Funds Work Let's now take a closer look at how index funds operate and how you can start investing in them. Choosing an index, the first step is to select the index that aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Popular indexes include the S&P 500, NASDAQ, or even global indexes like MSCI World or FTSE All World. Selecting a fund. Once you've chosen an index, you'll need to find an index fund that tracks it. There are various fund providers, such as Vanguard, BlackRock, and Fidelity each offering their own range of index funds. Opening an account. To invest in index funds, you'll typically need to open an investment account with a brokerage firm. This account allows you to buy and sell shares of the index fund. Investing. After setting up your account, you can start investing in the chosen index fund. Determine the amount you wish to invest and place your order through the brokerage platform. It's often advisable to invest regularly over time, taking advantage of dollar cost averaging. Section 4. Monitoring and Rebalancing Congratulations! You've invested in index funds. But remember, it's important to periodically review and rebalance your portfolio. Regular monitoring. Keep an eye on your investment performance, reviewing it on a quarterly or annual basis. However, Avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term market fluctuations. Rebalancing. Over time, the performance of different sectors or assets within your index fund may vary. Rebalancing involves adjusting the asset allocation to maintain your desired risk and return profile. And that's a wrap for today's video. We've covered the basics of index funds, their benefits, and how to invest in them step by step. Remember, Index funds can be a fantastic tool for long-term wealth creation, especially for those who prefer a more passive and diversified approach to investing. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any future content. We're dedicated to providing you with valuable insights and strategies to help you achieve financial success. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.